Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can receive and reply to WhatsApp messages on Apple Watch 9. So here uh, on my Apple Watch, if I receive messages, I can reply to it. So before we do anything, let's go to your iPhone and make sure notifications are turned on for your WhatsApp on the Apple Watch. So here I'm going to go into my home screen. On the home screen, tap on settings. Then in the settings page, scroll down and tap on notifications. Now in here, we go down and scroll all the way down and tap on WhatsApp app. So open up the WhatsApp app. And at the top here, make sure allow notifications are turned on. Then we scroll down and tap on WhatsApp notification settings. Tap on that. At the top here, make sure show notifications are turned on. Then we go down and tap on in-app notifications. And make sure at the top here in the alert style, you choose banners. And make sure sounds and vibrate are turned on as well. Once these are turned on, we swipe up to go back to your home screen. Now we go back to your Apple Watch. And when you receive a text uh, message, so here I will send myself a text message. When you receive a text message on your Apple Watch, so typically your phone would be uh, switch off. Then the text message will send to your Apple Watch. Here, sometimes it will uh, show the notifications. When you, um, when you see the notifications appear on your phone, it should uh, pop up. If it does not pop up, you can swipe down like this to open it. Now in here, you can tap on replied or you can dismiss. Uh, if you want to reply to this text message, just tap on the reply button. And at the bottom here are suggestions you can use. So here are a suggestion text that you can use. Hello, what's up? On my way? Okay, sure or no problem. So you can tap on that to automatically reply. In here you can see on my phone, it replied no problem. And here is another message, so I can tap on that. This time I want to tap on replied, and to reply your own text, you tap on the reply text box right here. This will bring up the keyboard. On the keyboard, you can uh, type in the text message. So here, my reply. You can also use the auto suggestions, and you can also use a uh, swipe typing as well. This is swipe. So if you're making mistakes, you can tap on the back key, swipe, typing. Now because the keys are quite small, so if you prefer, you can also use the microphone button to use the microphone as an input. So here it said uh, improve Siri in dictation. So I'm just gonna tap on dismiss there. This is a test. This is a test to send a text message to WhatsApp on the Apple Watch. And then tap on the send button. You can see using the microphone, we can type in a lot faster and a lot more. So that is how you can reply to WhatsApp with your Apple Watch. Uh, anytime that you want to reply, you can swipe down and view the notifications, then tap on that to reply. Now you cannot uh, open up the WhatsApp to initiate a conversation. There is no app. So if you go into the app screen, there is no WhatsApp app available. So you cannot uh, initiate a WhatsApp conversation. You can only reply. So when you receive a notification on your Apple Watch, you can tap on the notification to reply to that text message. If you close that notification, you will no longer be able to reply to that text conversation. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.